I go, wait, it's me, same day, all right, 12th of July, but obviously something has changed, okay? I'm feeling pretty good right now. Right? I'm feeling very relaxed, which is one of the most important things you can do to intervene against all this mind-body connection that looks so poor. We're going to have some positive mind-body connection, okay? And uh, um, a big part of the problem, of course, with being all stressed out and the the cascade of events, okay, from my perception of stress up here, the amygdala activating the hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal, the HBA axis, that then led to all kinds of health problems, okay? Um, we can combine that with dietary problems, and uh, and you can create this <laughs> inflammatory state, okay, that we heard about last time, psychoneuroimmunology, okay? really sounds dire, okay? Um, and like I said, we can't rely on, on pills. We need to rely on this, okay? All right, so we're gonna talk about intervening from here on. And the first one we're gonna talk about is sociality. Um, and again, it's the quality of your relationships, not the number, okay? It's the, the core of your social support, okay? It should be positive and supportive. Uh, your bubble, okay? Um, in this COVID-19 time, your pod, your bubble, okay? That's it, all right? So it should be good, and, and you work on making it good. Now, one thing you can't do is change certain age-related changes that have already occurred, okay? For example, I can barely read anything, all right? Um, uh, I can't see things up near because I'm old and I am far-sighted. It happens to all of us, okay? All right, now I'm much better off. Okay, so let's get in there. And I say hey to Carly and Julie, all right? They're, they're amazing team. We're gonna jump right into this, okay? Don't forget to do this right here, all right? In fact, there's gonna be a reminder that you're gonna see here in a second, okay? All right, so we're scrolling down. Week one was awesome. Week two, week three, just think about how much you guys know now. Um, just a reminder that this midterm is coming up, okay? Um, it's Thursday, all right? It's the 16th. And so just uh, you have uh, 24 hours to get it done, and you're going to be fine. Just relax into it. Enjoy the ride, really, okay? We did psychoneuroimmunology. What can we do to improve our mental health, improve our physical health, okay? That is sociality. All right, so we get in here, and um, um, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put my lecture right here, okay? Like always, I haven't even created the spot to do it, but I will, okay? Um, you're going to get in there, okay? Again, the goal is, um, is to think about loneliness in the aging population from uh, the video that is provided, from the um, one of the, the key um, uh, primary investigators, Robert Waldinger from Harvard, and um, and they talk about uh, the Grant and Gluck studies, okay, which is awesome, and um, and then this is really important because this is um, uh, a, a product that IBM is constantly updating, and as part of their business practice and part of about, um, uh, being an advocate for older people in the workplace on what to do to improve their lives. And that's what this is all about right here. And just, just um, it, it, the end result is improving um, financing in, in older society by making people less lonely and more happier, okay? All right, so um, this can take you directly to this, all right? And, and um, what I've done also in this, and what we do is we take you directly to the website and it gives you a little um, history of what's going on. Okay, and it's coming up, and there it is, okay? So um, this is the second generation study, okay? And um, they want people to, to sign up, okay? It, gives, it, it explains what it's all about. They look at health and aging, uh, the impact of marriage on healthy aging, and, and then also social neuroscience, okay? So these are all different, different aspects of this study. So uh, I encourage you to just kind of navigate around. They talk about you know, the next generation, their study, how they run their study and everything, which is cool. Okay, so then we get in here and you and you listen to this uh, Robert Waldinger and his insight. Okay, uh, and this along with the IBM the IM, IBM report down below is then used for um, the quiz and the final exam. Okay, so th this particular um, um, uh, PDF file is shown right here. Okay, um, so um, you can. Um, uh, also go directly to their website and take a look at it, which is what I would do. Okay, so I'm going to take you down to the actual website here. So that again, that's the that's the PDF file for IBM. Sorry, and then this right here 
is um, the uh, the website that IBM has, and it's a really really fantastic website. And and it, and, and yeah, again, I, I encourage you to kind of just show a little curiosity and see what it is that they're up to over at I, IBM uh, about um, their program. Okay, benchmarking. Um, the, the, it gives you all kinds of really great information. These are all the different things that they, that they have going on at IBM. And they also are very interested in loneliness and aging. Okay, so again, do, do check this out. And um, I downloaded the report right here by clicking on it, and this is what you get. Okay, and um, and they they actually have um, changed the report a little to include consequences um, of COVID nineteen. Okay, this takes talks about IBM and its mission. Okay, and uh, they're saying they talk about remember Watson. Well, this is Watson Health. Okay. And, um, and about having a much better, 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 healthier nation, right? And so um, they have some, some uh, new takeaways, okay? And the impact of social distancing, which are right in here, um, that add to their existing premise of loneliness. So they talk about um, loneliness, okay? The cost, because again, this is uh, a major, major corporate um, uh, uh, pamphlet that they produce here that that is uh, used for consulting to, to help a businesses have a better bottom line, okay? And um, they talk about this is the, the, an invisible syndrome, okay? Um, and, 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 and that you, this, this sense of isolation needs to be recognized, okay? And they go through all of the different aspects of this. So they give you a little background here, okay? Some really cool figures, okay? Um, they, they talk about, um, you know, Again, their uh, premise for doing this, you know, um, why it's important for organizations to understand aging and loneliness. So you you can use this information someday when you know when you're um, you know, working your way up the ladder of some major corporation. They define loneliness, okay, all right. Um, why it's difficult to to mitigate, okay. So uh, what do we what is mitigation? It's you know what we get, what can we do to get rid of it, and it's hard, okay. Um, and what steps are being used today to leave it in the aging populations, okay? And then, you know, the future, okay? So they get into, you know, a discussion of how loneliness impacts health right in here, okay? Um, they have some really cool uh, figures that you can um, use as long as you cite them in your future, okay? About why this is important and, and the key areas that are impacted by loneliness, okay? And you scroll down here, okay? And again, um, I just, you know, this is your wheelhouse, but it's great for you to read. And, and look at these beautiful um, figures, again, that are, are there for your use, okay? Um, um, here's an example here, okay? Um, again, they said a big problem is are the obstacles to taking action. So, you know, we don't have a set of rules that, that or standards that, that medicine and, and social groups use to screen, okay? Um, it's just, uh, loneliness is very difficult to detect, detect because it's there with a lot of other problems. Yes, comorbidity, okay? Um, and nobody wants to admit to it. There's a stigma associated. Just like mental health has a stigma, saying you're all by yourself, there's a huge stigma. It's like admitting failure. So people don't report it, okay? Um, so, you know, how could we be better? Okay, well, we don't have, there's not a, a networked ecosystem, okay, that that will help you um, as a practitioner identify this as a problem. So it's very fragmented, incomplete, okay. Um, and uh, again, it just comes down to just uh, having a poor set of rules, right. Uh, okay, so then um, they come through and they, they discuss solutions, okay. Um, it's really, really cool. Okay. And again, they've updated it, like I said, with respect, with respect to what's going on in our world with, with the COVID-19 COVID pandemic. Okay. Um, it's, you know, I, I encourage you guys just kind of sift through this and, uh, and take it all in. I think, like I said, this is something that you can take with you for the rest of your lives. And, um, and I, I would just take my time reading this. Okay. All right, so that's that's all we have to say there. And then we come down here. Again, you use this for um, addressing the, the quiz and also for the midterm. And then we talk about you know the, the, the goals and what you should learn here. And then they, we want you to talk about, uh, apply what you have learned and, and 
into your real life. And um, I want, we want you to consider your experience with, with, with missing loneliness. Okay, how did it play out when you saw it? You know, describing what it, how you identified it, how you knew, and 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 then maybe if it was long term, how uh, the continuum was. Okay, and you know, what was this person's psychological well-being? How was their health? Okay, um, and what what became of them after your paths crossed? And maybe you're still with them. Okay. And, um, and and then from that, you know, I want you to discuss how you can identify loneliness right? and bring an awareness to loneliness. And then lastly, to intervene and reduce the loneliness as a practitioner. Okay? Awesome. Very cool. All right, guys. Uh, I didn't want to have to go read through that whole document for you. I think you guys can handle it yourself. This is a little bit more pleasant reading than the biology. There's Julie with our dog, Bella, and my son. Um, that's a that was my gift to Julie. We got her a rescue. German shared her pointer um, slightly after she was identified when, when she was um, told diagnosed with um, having leukemia. Okay, and this was after a particularly bad doctor visit. Okay, awesome. Alrighty, guys. So uh, I'm gonna stop there. Peace, and we'll see you next week.